evening and welcome. I am literally beside myself with excitement about this show. Uh, my guest tonight is, has a talk show right here on Cablevision. He's very well known. He's had some incredibly uh, famous guests. And he's honored us with an appearance tonight to do kind of a retrospective and show some of the finest moments from some of the 150 shows that he's done uh, over, I think it's eight years. Uh, so it's really just a personal thrill to have him here. He doesn't do any other shows. And it's, uh, it's just my pleasure to introduce Migs Burroughs. Well, thank you very much. Uh, it's really, it's my pleasure to be here. And um, we have, a, we have a really a celebrity packed show. I've done this for uh, eight years, 150 shows. We've got Rush Limbaugh, three penthouse pets, uh, Martha Stewart, a couple of strippers, a couple of kinky things. I should say, warning out there, this is an adult only show, so get the kids out of the room. Uh, but very interesting, big lineup, and I'm really glad you asked me because this is a great opportunity for me. All right, then, who are we going to see first? Well, first is Lisa Sliwa of the Guardian Angels as a personal favor because she's really the first celebrity to come on the show, uh, and she sort of gave it a lot of credibility, and she's really uh, was a terrific person. You know, people think of her being street tough and kind of a hard lady. She's really very funny. She's really a comedian at heart, I think. Uh, very funny, very smart. And uh, we had a lot of fun. And uh, in this clip, uh, she's giving me a little self-defense lesson, which I uh, sorely needed, I think. You'll... All right, let's go to the tape of Lisa Sliwa and Migs B. You've got to put a stop to it right then and there. And if he doesn't understand English, give, it to him, give him a little physical message. Uh, you want to give me a physical message? <laughs> what, are you getting scared? No, anxious. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you want to pretend we're on a date? No, do you want to demonstrate any, you know... Things on you? Yeah. Sure. I mean, you know, within reason. Can we walk around? I think so, if we don't... Or can we you know, stand as up? As long as we're not tied to anything. Well, first of all, it? first of all, a guy like you I wouldn't be too afraid of. But wait a minute, I've got I'd a be weapon. more concerned... I've got a weapon. I mean, I, it's something about the shirt. It just is like a happy person. Oh, you have no, weapons? No, I'm going to brandish a weapon. So why don't you turn around? I'm gonna. This is like this, this is going around in Westport. This people have been using this, and I know this is a joke, but just don't get my T-shirt dirty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, it's not a. Oh, a it's croissant. A stale croissant. It's hard. It's good scratch. This is definitely yuppie crime, right? A stale croissant. You know what I would do with this? I'd what? tell you to turn around and bend over, <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. A stale croissant. <laughs> that was very funny. Um, it's interesting, you know, I have a shirt just like that. I have a shirt exactly like that with the stripes. Um, well, why don't you tell us what's next up? Okay, well, next up, interestingly, is uh, Baba Bowie. Uh, anyone who listens to Howard Stern knows uh, Gary Delabate. And I met him, actually, at a Guardian Angel party that Lisa invited me to. And I got to meet Howard and Gary and everybody and Robin. And uh, Gary uh, agreed to do the show. That was one of the first, his first TV appearance. And uh, we have a little surprise guest at the end for him. So this is, we played a little trick on him at the end. And uh, this is what this clip is all about. Uh, Gary uh, has a little surprise in store. Okay. All right, let's take a look at Baba Bowie and Migs B. Shh. Yeah. Shh. Yes, when you've had him on his shh. Thank you. What's that? Hey, Janice, you don't recognize me? No. Come on, sweetie. What, beg your pardon? Come on, honey. <laughs> I've looked so long for you. Where were you all this time? Is that my baby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks just like you. Oh. What's that red light? Are you still on? <laughs> Gary, who is this? Why didn't Gary, you this? my phone calls? I can't imagine why, looking at you now. <laughs> I looked everywhere for you. Nobody knew where you went. Nobody knew where you were. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? I have no idea. What are you laughing, sweetheart? And turning red. <laughs> and turning red. Come on, honey. What's this? What's going on? What's this all about? <laughs> what, what's in there? Our baby, you have a son, Gary. Yes. Sir. May, may I see him? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my. Hi, baby. And she looks a lot like my sister, Chiquita Delavate. <laughs> that's Jesus. Oh, no. Come on, Joey. <laughs> Say hello. What you up to this? Boy, huh? I know I'm hairy, but this is beyond what belief. What you up to this? <laughs> oh, isn't he sweet? Yes, yes. These are, uh, these are very funny. You know, I can't, uh, I can't help but notice the set 
you've got the license plate and everything. I mean, there's, there's so many similarities. I'm really kind of struck by that. But uh, let's continue. Tell us uh, what's up. All right. Well, I've had that license plate for years, by the way. It's on my car. Uh, I don't know what you're insinuating. Anyway, the next guest is Susan Napoli, penthouse pet, kind of kind of sexy and uh, very sexy. Not not real bright, but we had we had some fun with her. She uh, she was a very willing uh, participant. And uh, she, what we did is my brother posed as her boyfriend, and we did this remote satellite hookup. And I did this little interview with her supposed boyfriend, revealing a little bit about her past. Oh boy, let's go, Susan Napoli, penthouse pet, and Migs B, and uh, get a live remote going. If we can, uh, I have to hook something up in the control room, and we'll uh, go to that remote now or whenever they're ready, and see if this works. And um, I just want to ask him some questions. Is it on? Thank you uh, for agreeing to this interview. Uh, I know this might be a little painful. I just wonder if you could tell us a little about your relationship with Susan. Well, she, I've, I've known Susan for my whole life, or her whole life, uh, for about 20 years. Um, God, the first, the first time I met Susan, uh, I'll never forget it. Um, my mom had a daycare center. I think Susan was like one years old, and I was used to help my mom out and. I'll tell you, at that age, she had star quality. She was the only kid in the group that had crotchless diapers. And I knew then she was going to be a star. And uh, I got her her first penthouse cover. Yeah. Um, I was quite the wheeler too at the age of 12. And um, they never repeated it after that. She, she was the first baby cover they ever did. And they've never done another one. But look at, I mean, does she have talent or what? You know? <laughs> Okay, that's uh, Penthouse Pet Susan Napoli, and you know, that's my brother. I know you, I thought you said that was your brother. That's my brother in the tape. I, I find that find that interesting. Um, but I know you've got a lot of stuff to show, so uh, carry on. What's what's up next? Uh, anyway, th this next one is is a woman. Uh -huh. Okay, I, I really uh, owe a lot to Martha Stewart. She's a big celebrity in her own right. She has her done TV, books, magazines, okay. bestseller list, and. Um, she did my show before she did any other local shows, and uh, I owe her a lot. And this is us having a little fun with Martha Stewart's mm -hmm. magazine, uh, as you can see. All right, let's take a look at uh, Migs B talking with Martha Stewart. Let's roll that tape. They actually tried to... Oh, yes, I see. Yeah, I mean, so they figured they'd kind of capitalize on our chemistry together. So now it's... And having you as a neighbor, see, it's very convenient. You can just come over for all the cover shoots, okay? Yeah. And Very this, good. <laughs> so this has uh, winter weddings, an article on silverware, silver settings, ornaments, stationery, which we're going to talk about here, holiday harvest. Um, what else we got here? Oh, here's a little ad for you in the, the Today Show, which with, I saw yesterday. With Brian Gumbel. Oh, you're there too, saying, oh, of course. Oh, what are you doing, well, tasting yeah. or um, No, I'm just giving you the OK sign. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There's even a little advice column here. Here it is. Martha, is it good manners to eat raspberry tarts with your fingers? No, you should eat your fingers separately. <laughs> Martha, at a place setting with a knife, fork, spoon, and hammer, what is the hammer for? Pound cake. <laughs> Martha, should one eat white beet salad on an empty stomach? No, you should use a plate. Good <laughs> advice from Martha Stewart. There's that sweater again. That's my sweater. The set. The license plate that's on the wall, uh, it's unbelievable. This whole thing is just unbelievable. But uh, let's keep it going. Tell us finest moments from some.